what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Jones before here bring you guys a ranked match and um, this is quite different from the ultimate team for those of you guys who have been following me for that um, ranked match you have to play with the original teams you know the Cleveland Browns with Johnny Manziel and all of them you know all the original roster and um, I decided to play with the Cleveland Browns and also you know before the game I showed you guys the dev chart real quick I started Johnny Menzel and Josh Gordon so you guys will see a little bit of heads up you know on the offense because for sure it's gonna be very explosive um, another thing guys you know right after the game I decided like you know what I'm never gonna play with the Cleveland Browns again there was some certain situations where I was like come on defense you know you had him right in your nose and how the hell did you miss that you know there was a lot of situations like that, and you would see that a lot through like, every single quarter. It was just incredible how some of the defensive players missed some certain tackles, which could have, you know, made the game end a lot more quicker. But I guess, you know, it's nothing. This it's not the same thing as Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team, apparently, your players do react a lot more better, even though they're like 85 overall. So, yeah, it's quite a different experience. It's very different. So, don't you, don't you think it's the same thing? It, it ain't. I mean, look at this. Come on, man. Are you serious? James Hanna took out like five Cleveland Brown players right there. I was like, fucking hey. I mean, EA is like seriously in love with the Dallas Cowboys. I remember back in 2008 or 2009 where they gave Tony Romo like 90 speed, and I was like, what? He only did like one scramble. So, um, do you guys remember that part? I remember. I mean, he was even faster than Vince Young. And a lucky catch by freaking Jason Wooden. How the hell did he pull it off? I don't really know. Ben Tate taking it all the way. 30 yards. Oh, no. Took him out. Ah, I hate that. Like, when I took back down, I tend to move the right hand lock stick to the left side, and that's why there's an extra juke all the time. Every time you see me do that, those kinds of uh, you know, back steps. And, you know, it was just, I don't know. It was random. And right here, if I would throw the circle a little bit earlier, he would have actually caught it for the first down, but no, it didn't happen. I ended up going to a field goal, and yeah. So far, the things that really messed me up was my defense. And I was trying to figure out some certain way to beat this guy, because I still didn't have him locked down. I didn't have him fully scouted yet. And um, goddamn, I forgot to mention about this, this kick return. How, how the hell did this bullshit happen? Seriously? And especially with Dwayne Harris. That mofo is freaking slow. He has 86 speed. How the hell did he pull it off? I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. I was pissed off from that point. I was like, screw you with fucking Dwayne Harris. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you guys you guys can make fun of me all, all you can, but look at this catch right here. One-handed catch by Josh Gordon. Pretty much makes, makes it up uh, for that whole carry turn. And yes, I believe X was open on that play. I think I did see him like on the deeps, and I, but I, I don't know. I saw that guy going across a lot more open and uh, a lot more safer. So, yeah. Johnny Manziel going to the scramble to the right side and touchdown with Johnny Manziel. My first touchdown. Yeah, I mean the guy. I do have the guts to run with this guy. I really do. I believe in this guy. And uh, another lucky catch right here, and this time by my own team. I was like, what the fuck? This guy must have been pissed. <laughs> How the hell did you even score that two-point conversion? I don't even know. I don't even know. Lucky bastard. So, halftime, I ended up receiving the ball. And um, that's, this is where I'm trying to figure out his defense. Like, he was so easily, you know, you know caught that on the, on the freaking misdirection. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to abuse the misdirection until he finds, out to, uh, find a, finds a way to stop it. And he never did. Look at this. Another misdirection with a slow ass running back this guy I believe he has like around 88 speed he's not that quick but yet he gets far and I can't believe Tri Triangle didn't even catch it right there who the fuck is Gabriel like, I don't even know who the hell that is I'm already playing with like four string receivers and shit so yeah I mean that's how bad the Browns are I don't even know who the fuck the receivers are only Josh Gordon and some other guy so lucky me and right now my defense is starting to react in the second half which is kind of like the real life Browns they start to react on the second half. If you guys remember the first three games or four, four games of the Cleveland Browns in real life, these guys made a comeback in the second half, especially their defense. So, yeah, it's happening here on the ranked game. Uh, ben Tate yet again. And I went SOS, same old shit. Had back misdirection to the left side and yet take it like for 20 yards. That's all I kept doing. Look at this. And now it's counter out of the pistol. And yet again. The best way to actually run a counter now is by pinching the O-line. That's what I found out since my tackle couldn't push back the defensive end. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pinch and run it behind the tackle or 
or inside the tackle. That's what I did. And that's how I managed to score with the running backs. I mean, not score with the running back, like running all the way. And an option with Johnny Manziel took it to the right side for a touchdown. Amazing. Amazing. My passing plays weren't working. I got to admit that. My passing plays were not working at all because these receivers would never get open. They're not that fast, you know. Actually, they are. It's just that I don't know. I don't understand how they, they couldn't get open. I mean, they have Travis Benjamin, Josh Gordon, and somebody else who was fast, and yet they didn't get open. So. I shut him down since the second quarter, and um, goddamn, it was a hell of a game. I actually managed to do a comeback on the second half. Final score, 21-14, and the guy was actually high level ranked, and I ended up getting plus 19 points. Usually, if you get like a, a guy who's on your same level, you get like around 10 or 9. I forgot how much it was, but I know you get under or in the 10, and the guy who I defeated... He gave me plus 19 points, and I was like, holy shit. I defeated a guy who's probably like around level or ranked 20,000 or something because that was insane, the amount of points they gave me at the end. So for those of you guys who play rank, you guys should know how many points they gave you. So overall, guys, my defensive scheme actually worked in the second half. My offense uh, playbook wasn't working that well, except when I was going into misdirections in the second quarter and the third quarter. My hatback misdirections were working, also the counters. I couldn't do any hatback dives. I did some certain ones. I didn't show it here in the gameplay, but um, still, my O-line couldn't react. Even though I have the best O-line, like Alex Mack and Joe Thomas on the left side, I couldn't run it. But the hatback misdirection somehow worked, so yeah, I, was, I did pretty much well running through the outside. So that's it for now, guys. You guys want to see more rank matches? For sure, I'll bring it into the next weekend because I don't want to do this, you know, a lot of times because I think I get more frustrated if I play like this. So I'll bring you more Madden Ultimate Team instead, but I'll be bringing you these kinds of matches like once a week. So subscribe for more, guys.